Good evening, Smarties. Tonight's lesson is lesson 3.2, Estimate Products. Tonight we're going to be working on page 53 of your Go Math book. So please make sure you're on this page and let's go ahead and write the essential question down. How can you estimate products? Go ahead and write the essential question down and we can get started. All right, let's look at number two. As you can see, we have a two-digit number times a two-digit number. So we're going to estimate what the product would be for this two-digit by two-digit multiplication problem. So when we estimate for multiplication, we round. Now, instead of rounding the greater factor, we are going to be rounding both factors. So we are going to round 63, and we know that 63 rounds to 60, and we're also going to round the number 19, and we know that 19 rounds to 20. Now we have a two-digit by two-digit multiplication problem, but they're both in tens, and we can solve this by using basic facts. 6 times 2, well that's 12, and then we can add our two zeros for our place value holders. So the estimate for 63 times 19 is 1,200. Let's estimate the product for number 3. We have 27 times $42. Well, we can round first, then multiply. Let's round 27, and that rounds to 30, times $42 rounds to $40. Now we can multiply our basic facts. 3 times 4, that gives me 12. And our two zeros, we have 1,200 as our estimate. And now we're ready to try some on our own. All right, mathematicians, you are going to find the estimates for number four, five, and six on your own right now. So go ahead and pause the video, work on these problems, and then press play when you're ready to go over the answers together. Okay, let's check our answers together. We have 73 rounds to 70, 67 rounds to 70 as well, and 70 times 70, well that's 4,900. For number five, we have 37 rounds to 40, and 44 rounds to 40 as well, and four times four gives me 16, plus our two zeros which is 1,600. And for number six, 85 rounds to 90, 71 rounds to 70, and nine times seven, that gives me 63, plus my two zeros, which makes 6,300. I hope that you guys got those all right. I know you did. Give yourselves a happy face. Okay, let's jump down to number 10, our problem solving question. It says a dime has a diameter of about 18 millimeters. About how many millimeters long would a row of 34 dimes be? Well, we know that one dime has a diameter of 18 millimeters. We see the word about, and we wanna know how many a row of 34 dimes would be. So we need to estimate 18 times our 34 dimes. Go ahead, boys and girls, and estimate this product. Press play when you're ready to go over the answers together. Okay, when we estimate 18 times 34, 18 rounds to 20, 
34 rounds to 30. And when we multiply, we using our basic facts, we could get six with our two zeros, which makes 600. So about how many millimeters long would a row of 34 dimes be? It would be about 600. All right, friends, let's go ahead and look at what your homework problems are. You are going to be working on page 54 in your Go Math book. You are going to be doing numbers one through six on page 54, and we will check these tomorrow in class. Don't forget to assess yourself at the bottom of page 54. Let us know whether you feel like you're a novice, apprentice, practitioner, or an expert after watching the video. I hope that you guys have a great night and we will see you tomorrow in class for some fun activities. Have a great night. Bye.